I'm Coach Antoine Kapla with SF Champions Basketball Program, and this is the second portion of our workout. It's the strengthening. We're going to be working with the proper push-up and teaching you guys how to focus on balance and core and understanding of how to use your arms and limbs to strengthen your upper body. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to find ourselves an area of space where we can have two hands down to the ground and we can line ourselves up properly. Now, if you guys are on a basketball court where there's a lot of lines, this is the best way to use it because it gives you a direct opportunity to line your fingertips up so that you're getting the right constant motion. So when you guys go down with the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is you get your fingertips to spread themselves. Once you spread your fingertips, you want your thumbs to meet at your chest. That's the best way to keep your arms shoulder width apart. If you notice right now, I'm trying to do my best to keep my thumbs straight to my chest. From this position with your head motion, you want to keep your chin up so that your vertebrae stay straight and you're not altering any positioning on your body. From this position, you should always see that your elbows are poking away from your head and out towards your buttocks. If you guys notice, I'm trying to do my best to stay within the best posture possible so that I get the most out of this workout with my muscles and my technique. From this position, once you've aligned yourself up properly, now you can start with the actual push-up where you're going to push off the ground, pushing your chest and your legs off the ground and locking your elbows into place. Still wanting to make sure that your thumbs do not move and your fingertips stay wide. This is the best way to keep balance and core strengthening along with upper body. Go down, make sure that your chest touches the floor. Try to do your best to keep your eyes high. When we play basketball, we always want to keep our eyes high anyway because it gives us an opportunity to see the floor as well as be aware of our surroundings. So this is just another practice for your eyes to stay above your chest level. Back up, lock those elbows in place. Back down, keeping your fingertips apart. Chin high, vertebrae stay straight, and you want to do 10 of these as properly as you can. That's four. That's five, and it doesn't really matter how much delay you have between the up and down portion of the push-up. It's just a matter of making sure that all the muscles are connected and consistent in the motion when you go up and down. That's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's 10. Now, if you're able to do all of these things properly and keep yourself in a consistent and composed position, you're going to feel the worth of the workout.